Hi everyone, I hope you're all. This is Coins Kid. I'm just going to dive into Bitcoin once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. Thank you to each and every single one of you for everything that you do. Okay, on this channel is amazing. The level of support, sharing the videos, liking the videos. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for sharing this video and thank you for liking this video equally. So right now, what is Bitcoin doing? Well, for me, you're in technical targets to the upside because you're broken out of a couple of patterns here. Okay, there's a few patterns that I've shown you before. You run into resistance. You've got your uh, left shoulder there, your head, your right shoulder, and you're broken out of it. Okay, so that gives you a technical target to the upside from there to there. And right now you can see you've broken that low resistance just there for Bitcoin. And you can see your technical targets to 1272, around about 81K, roughly around about that area. Okay, so you're doing everything you need to for the continuation. Worst case here, worst case scenario, this is the weekly time frame, don't forget. If you was to roll back, come back, hold the 20, wow you're in a whopping uptrend because you're holding a 20 at the moment okay the only time to worry is if you do roll you start to lose this 20 and you roll under it that could be that you're rolling over there but i don't envision it but again i've not got a crystal ball nothing i say is financial advice for me your bitcoin is looking extremely bullish here and it's looking for a break and when the break comes it could be actually be quite explosive okay just like the the v chain breakout is today and the ethereum breakout because this is doing exactly what ethereum was on its local high it weaked above and it was coming down and it was consolidating below and it's building up the power allowing the market to cool off a bit before breaking out to the upside okay so even if we look on the daily time frame here for bitcoin you can see you could theorize that that is some kind of ascending triangle okay so you've wicked above that high just there and right now you're starting to put in these high lows like this so you're conforming you're holding support moving up the stairs once you break that low resistance whew, you've got a technical break haven't you and once you break that like i said to you you're in a, an impulsive wave target okay if we look at the weekly time frame you, you're in an impulsive wave target here to one hundred and eight thousand dollars just there okay so that would be my next impulsive break and obviously you've got resistance above just here for bitcoin you've got the 1272 which is our technical target of an inverse head and shoulders then you've got the 1414 which is the 1414 now equally just here because you've come up in a whopping horizontal like that you've come towards the apex like that and you held this support you see this support huge level of support we're looking at a very similar level of support on the total market cap as well so you've actually broken out of a, a whopping horizontal uh, here from there to there all the way down is your technical target of a horizontal and you can see that you've broken out as a, as well, uh, out of that as well so your technical break target is on the 1414 at 91482 so bitcoin's looking extremely bullish and like i said to you in the previous video on the daily if you take a look at this what you're doing is you're coiling up making higher lows under the previous local high okay so you've had a wick above it come back down and you're coiling up making high lows essentially some kind of ascending triangle get your break you're gone aren't you i've given you all your support targets in previous videos if you was to see a roll and areas where you need to put some cheeky bids on for bitcoin but you can see like i said to you uh where are we just here okay look at this previous uh all-time high of the previous bull run in 2017 you come up you got the wick above then if we move to the right okay let's move to the right this is december last year we're doing exactly the same thing so we wicked above the high like that we came back down we started making these high lows and once we broke out that high look look at the power we've got we absolutely went on created a horizontal continuation and that's where we came into january wasn't it and we got that sort of big big massive surge like that put whopping abc and i do think potentially potentially we could be on the cusp of something very very similar here for bitcoin once we break this high you know very very similar fractal that's going to play out so what i'm going to do and i think i've done this with you before i personally think that we're here okay just here we are here basically and we're looking for this break okay once we get that break look at the power that's going to come i think for bitcoin once you break that high you could be looking at somewhere very similar we're right at about a 27 percent break now the 27 percent break here you know from there will take you roughly up to that 1272 which is around about 81375 uh, which is the technical target of the inverse head and shoulders okay so you're doing everything you need to for the continuation of the ball right here if you roll over you've got your key level support which you need to see held for the continuation but for me there's a break that's coming relatively close because of the pattern that you're creating here these you know these higher lows creeping up the stairs holding the 20 on the daily especially like i said to you if you continue to do this this yellow line creeps up like that look like it did here creeps up creeps up creeps up you continue to hold it break okay so i personally think that you could be looking at a very similar fractal right now as to this okay and this sort of blow off top and this rolling over pattern potentially this could be at play we could be like a wycroft distribution again you know the composite man could be playing our asses again okay so what i'm going to do is drop this fractal from here just there up to this top in uh, where was it april and see where that takes us okay so we're literally just there aren't we 
Now look where that takes us. That takes us to my 207k forecast that I've had since 2019. I've had that forecast. Okay, for those of you who are familiar with the channel, and look, if we do follow the exact same fractal, we've got a bit of a cheat cheat sheet haven't we you know you break this local high just here which is the all-time high you take it out you move up you're moving through the fibs so 1272 you're overextended up here beyond the 1618 you have that sort of parabola mania blow off top okay just there we could enter the bear and if we do we lose a key level support i will show you but if we've got the cheat sheet here carrying out the same fractal this is what puts us at the 200k which has always been my target okay and it's always been the its title on my thumbnail because we are on the road to 200k it's a journey it doesn't happen overnight you know and, and, and so far so good we're breaking out we're holding support we're breaking resistance falling back to that as support it's all golden so that's basically a little update on bitcoin you know stay tuned watch this space there is something that is a bit of an anomaly at the moment i'm going to show you and there's something that's actually quite good for bitcoin to be honest with you because this is the dxy and as you know this is inversely correlated with bitcoin so for me is your dxy going to break out here and put this high because obviously if it does the inverse correlation between bitcoin and dxy means that bitcoin is going to roll over but there's two scenarios potentially you're looking if for me if bitcoin was toppy i would expect the dxy to be bottomy do you understand so down here the dxy was bottoming out and what happened it shot up and bitcoin had that whopping correction okay which made a lot of people think we was going to a bear market but for me i knew it wasn't going to a bear market i knew it was a corrective phase of a bull market because the, the chart tell me the story okay show me the charts to tell you the news the bit the news is bitcoin's bullish okay so right now there's an inverse correlation so basically if if this breaks out here and continues to go up here and it's this w bottom target and everything that everyone's on about then yeah that could actually be quite negative for bitcoin but what if it isn't what if the inverse correlation is actually broken right now okay because don't forget look all the way here this has been going up yet bitcoin is recovered okay and it's gone up and broken eye so it's an inverse correlation beginning to sort of fade away the other scenario something to think about the other scenario is that you, the, the dxy actually fails to break this high because you can see this is a key level resistance at the moment this is your technical high that you do need to break so there's a case that the dxy runs into that and then rolls over and this is where we see that huge impulsive move for bitcoin moving forward so again keep an eye on the dxy because you can see it's in some kind of broadening bottom pattern okay which is relatively a bullish reversal pattern like i said to you in numerous videos if you do see it roll down here and it loses this point of contact then this could be the super cycle for crypto and bitcoin leading into next year where you see sort of sort of astronomical gains in the crypto space you know you're pushing up towards 11 trillion dollars there as well so i think in the total market cap as well we'll take a quick look at that this is usually part of the uh market health checkup as well let's take a look at this because there was a breakdown target for this particular chart and you can see that that was met so we formed a double m top pattern just there we lost support and we came down we met the technical target and right now we're pushing back up through the fibs and we're trying to get back above and you can see it's relatively bullish because what we've done we've come up here and we've come back to the 20 on the four hour if we hold that continue to come up this way you're going to see a new impulsive break for the dxy because it's got a little bit of extended from the 1618 fib extension just there that impulsive wave so the next impulsive break here for me would be from here to here so if we go on right now and we start to come up and break this high you are looking at 2.83 trillion dollar market capitalization for the uh, total market cap just there and like i said to you look the bulls go up the stairs like this don't they to where we're going to get to so our next leg up here is this 1272 at 3.2 eight and then we've got the 1414 at 3.64 and then the 1618 which has always been a target just there at 4.31 so we're making our way up the stairs aren't we you know for, for bitcoin crypto basically on the four hourly time frame so it's all looking good so far so that's basically a quick little update for you on bitcoin it's coiling up it's, it's under a level of resistance which is a previous high which is good you're forming some kind of ascending triangle pattern that you did under a previous level of resistance and a previous break of a local high uh, all-time high that was take care everyone hope you enjoyed that update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye